Hello everybody, this is going to be my video for Loki episode 3, titled Lamentus. And uh, we start off uh, C20 and, you know, our new female Loki are in a restaurant. Um, not sure the time frame, like where this takes place or what time this takes place, but it seems like kind of modern-ish. Uh, this is obviously, you know, an illusion or enchantment, if you will. Uh, she's trying to get information on the timekeepers. Rem reminds me of what, like, you know, psychics can do in Marvel. Um, but, you know, hers is magic-based, so it's an enchantment. The, var the variant is uh, fishing for information, of course. And C20 starts to uh, catch on a bit, and Loki changes the uh, enchantment. A bit to compensate. C20 does give her the inf information eventually, though. Then we're back to uh, where, you know, both Lokis go through the portal. Surprise, surprise, uh, it's the TVA. The first thing Sylvie does is try to enchant one of the TVA hunters. Doesn't work, you know, of course, magic doesn't work in the TVA. Then um, she's confronted by our, by our Loki. They have a bit of a fight. Uh, Loki seems to be able to, you know, finesse, uh, Sylvie. Sylvie, you know, is her name, we find out. Uh, but she, uh, but they are, like, more or less equal in terms of skill. Sylvie tries to, you know, hold Loki hostage as, uh, Renslayer and her squad confronts them. But Loki ports them, uh, away. They fall through, fight a bit more, and uh, Sylvie realizes the stem pad is uh, out of power. She's pissed. <laughs> uh, realize where they are, Lamentus One is the name of the moon, and it gets even, and she gets even more pissed. And uh, the moon they're on, uh, it's about to get destroyed by the planet that it orbits. They agree to a truce to get off the planet. This is a, a very, like, you know, Doctor Who-esque style episode, in my opinion. They walk towards the nearest town. Sylvie explains that she isn't Loki anymore. She's Sylvie. She uh, says it's an alias, but it's clear she doesn't like the name Loki. Uh, they find an inhab inhabitant's house. Loki suggests diplomacy, but Sylvie kicks it down, uh, and she gets blasted back by this, uh, air cannon, or whatever it is. Loki tries to disguise himself as the person's, uh, lost husband, but he gets blasted too, uh, you know, for being too nice. She says that, uh, he never said anything so, so nice. The, uh, the woman does head them in the right direction, though, though towards the evac station. It's called the Ark. The variants uh, make it there. There's a long lines of people and they're complaining about tickets only really going to the wealthy. They're able to get on, but uh, they it's only, they have to like clumsily, but like use their abilities. Loki, uh, he does his, like, illusion, illusion protection. Uh, and she ends up having to, like, enchant one of the guards anyway. And they they get on the uh, train, and they have a bit of a heart-to-heart. -heart. Uh, not without, like, you know, riffing on each other, though. Uh, Loki explains he learned his magic from his mother, and Sylvie says she barely even knew her mother says it's uh, a glimpse of a memory. It's just showing that they have, like, uh, very different backstories, even though they are supposed to be, you know, Loki variants. Uh, and doesn't really, she doesn't really go much else into it, but it's, I think it's just, like, assumed that uh, Odin was not very you know, kind in this timeline. <laughs>
then uh, they also explain that they both, you know, like men and women. Loki is canonically bisexual. Uh, but they never truly loved. And they have this whole thing about, uh, you know, what is love? And uh, she says love is hate. And not, neither one of them really give, like, really poetic answers. Because uh, Loki does, like, love is a dagger as well. So they agree to rest uh, before, you know, their big heist. Hmm. Well, Sylvie wakes up after said rest, and uh, Loki is up drunk and dancing and singing as Guardian songs. He's very good, but obviously attracting way too much attention. He's even smashed, he does like the Thor thing where he smashes the glass and says, Another! Not long after that, they get confronted by the guards, the train, and you know the. I thought this was kind of a weird scene, because I assumed that these guards were just like you know regular people, and they handle two, you know, gods pretty well. Uh, I mean, Loki's are not like weak by any means. Uh, they ended up getting ejected from the train, um, and. They land pretty hard. Turns out Loki broke the temp pad when he uh, when he landed, leaving them pretty much stranded. Sylvie gets pissed for good reason. They uh, sit down for a moment, uh, but decide to try and uh, help the art get off the planet with them on it, because apparently everything is supposed to be destroyed, even the Ark. As they were walking, Sylvie explains a bit about how her powers work. She says she had to... Uh, reach hundreds of years to get memories before uh, you know C20 was in the TVA. Loki gets confused because uh, you know as we know from the previous episodes we and you know Loki were led to believe that everybody who works for the TVA was created by the timekeepers and Sylvia is telling us you know that's ridiculous they're all variants like them and uh, Meaning their variants and, well, the people that work for the TVA are variants and don't even realize it. They make it to uh, where the Ark is and there's people who are understandably rioting because they can't get on the Ark. Uh, but, you know, as all this is happening, the Lokis get there. Well, Loki and Sylvie, I should say. Uh, and the riots going on, the planet uh, begins to, you know, break apart. And uh, raining ar down around them. And, you know, the guards are even roughing up people as the world is literally be being destroyed. And, you know, right here we get a good look at uh, Loki flexing his magic a bit, catching a building. As uh, and you know, setting it back up. As they uh, get to the arc, a piece of the planet shoots through it and destroys it, and then we have our uh, you know cliffhanger for the episode, which you know I say this every every time. I thought this was a uh, you know again a pretty good episode. I think Marvel's done a really good job with you know more or less all their projects. Uh, and this was a bit of a slower episode, but it was a well-needed uh, episode to help explain the Sylvie character, her motives, and her backstory. Uh, and we're led to believe that she was, uh, you know, brought in the TVA at a very young age. Uh, so she's been fighting this fight, like, a long time. And... One uh, another thing I noticed uh, with this episode, uh, the name of the place they're at, Lamentus, uh, it means like sorrow and stuff. And there's so a bit of like religious 
like symbolism uh with the uh the arc and all that and it just seems like uh this is probably some sort of like corporate like uh like a corporate uh city i guess and you know who else would build a uh like a worker town next to like a dying uh planet than like some you know rich corporation who you know in turn only lets the rich get off the planet except they don't because the art blows up anyway there's some uh you know symbolism there if you're you know willing to look i think and um yeah i'm really looking forward to the next episode and I think that's about it. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and uh, have a stellar night.